This is our actual nationality, all right? What we were taught here in slavery is something completely different. Something that's for, or uh, something that this man gave us. You see what I'm saying? When we were in shackles and bonds and slavery on those plantations, this is all we ever knew. And they gave us scriptures like John 3.16. What, what John 3.16 say? What's your name again? Stephen, sorry. What John 3.16 say, Stephen? You're not familiar? I'll pray to the most high. But have you ever heard this? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten. You heard that, right? Now, where do you hear that from? You hear this from the mouth of this man a lot. But where was for God so loved the world when this was taking place to us? Because that scripture been in the Bible since 1619. It's been in the Bible for a long time. But why is it that now, all of a sudden, they want to say, God loves everybody. God is for all. Why is that? It's because they don't want you to wake up and understand that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. They don't want you to know that thing, all right? Read this. 832. My brother Steve. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. So we must know the truth in these last days. Because guess what? It's a lot of information being pushed out, right? Right now on your headphones, you have information playing. They got podcasts. Everybody talking. Ocho Cinco and them. Uh, Shannon Sharp got a show. Uh, ESPN, the news networks, all these different things. There's information coming out. But is it the truth? That's the question that Christ put to us. Come on, read it again. And ye shall know the truth. So Christ said, we got to know the truth. Because the truth is not being spread in the earth today. Everything that I just mentioned is lies and formulated on lies. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. And this truth is going to set you free. So what am I showing you? Now go to Deuteronomy 28. Because again, Christ said this truth shall make you free. What do we need freedom from? Mental bondage. We are mentally enslaved to this man in America. So when we look at this image, and not only our, our, our so-called African-American brothers, but our Hispanic brothers as well. Los Hispanos, gente. Me Hispanos, uh, me Hispanos, gente. They wholeheartedly believe that this is Jesus. This is nowhere in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? The Jewish, the so-called Amalekite man, and I'm sorry, the so-called Jewish man who is Amalek, he is nowhere in the Bible as God's people. And we're going to show you all that. And I'm going to ask you questions about who these things pertain to because God left clues in this Bible, all right? Read to 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou... But it shall come to pass. Thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites. He's telling them, if you don't listen to your God, come on, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. So this is crucial. This is crucial to everything that we talk about. Critical. We got to focus on this point right here. The Lord said, if y'all don't listen to my laws, statutes, and commandments, come on, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, my brother Stephen, God said he would curse his people if they didn't listen to what? What was the critical, crucial thing we had to focus on? Read it one more time for me. But it shall come to pass come if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we didn't listen to our God to do something. Let's see. To observe, to do all his commandments. Yep. And his statutes, yep. which I command thee this day. So what was that crucial thing? To observe his... One more time, just that part. To observe. To observe, to do all his commandments. That right there. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the Lord said, the, the, the contract that I'm doing with you, I said, you might be a truck driver, right? Yeah. And you get with a company and they say, here's your contract. We want this many hours out of you. We want you over the road this often. You need to take this many breaks. And this is how we're going to operate. We're going to make this thing work. And we're going to pay you. You know what I'm saying? Same way with the Lord. The Lord said, y'all my people, this is the contract. Do my law, statutes, and commandments. And I will bless you. If you don't do my law, statutes, and commandments, I'm going to curse you. All right? Now, Stephen, are curses good or bad things? They're bad, right? Let's, let's get into some of those bad things. So I'm going to take you through all this that took place. Because you can agree, we came to America, right? We were, Some of us were here. Some of us were here, but a lot of us were bought on boats. Do you agree to that, Stephen? Yeah. We were bought on boats, so I'm going to show you all of that, verse 49. Because we wasn't always in this land, right? Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. So a nation was going to come from far against us. They came from Europe. They came from Britain, France, the uh, Dutch, the Netherlands, all these different places. They came from far. Who use this they came from all different parts of Europe to do what? Come down here and get slaves. 
They came down here to get slaves of the people that were already here. These people were civilized people. These people were honorable. They were uh, intellectuals, philosophers, lawyers, doctors, architects, all these things. That's what these people were. But when they took them on those boats, they brought them to this side of the world and they changed their mindset. They beat it out of them. Read this part again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So that man that came from far is the so-called white man. And all his mutations as Europeans, whatever French, uh, Great Britain, Russian, Jewish, all of them had a part in the slave trade. Come on. From the end of the earth. From Europe. As swift as the eagle flight. As swift as an eagle flight. So, Steve, what's America's national symbol? The American flag. True. And then on that flag, they'll have, they'll have They'll have a flag waving and then a bird will fly in. And that's what? The eagle. Read that again. As swift as the eagle flies. The Lord leave us clues as to who we are. All in this Bible. We go to church all these years. Your grandma that said this and that. But she never read this. Because the pastor learned from who? This man right here. And from learning this, he said never teach that Bible. Never teach Deuteronomy 28. Never teach the slaves who they are. Never give them anything to benefit themselves. But we're showing you now the roadmap as to who we are and coming back to our God. Read this again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. And my brother Stephen hit it on the head. He said, they bird is the eagle. And then not only them, I don't know if we got all the sun. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on, Stephen. Stay with me. There you go. Oh, man, but I got it. Damn. All right, hold on here. Just check it out. Check it out. So look, this is all the symbols of those nations. All the symbols, all right? Uh, read verse 48. Verse 48. No, read 68. So look, it's 68, right? You can agree we came to this side of the world, right? Did we not? How did we get here? By a boat. Was it a, was it a cruise ship? Was it a parallax liner? It's a slave boat. Read this. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt is a Greek word. I'm sorry, Mizraim is the Greek word. Egypt is another word for bondage in the Bible. Bondage is a kin or a synonym for slavery or uh, captivity. You see what I'm saying? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Say, grab the Yeah, yeah, you can drop. I'm sorry. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again? How? With ships. Now, my brother Stephen, we reading the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible just said God's people would go into slavery on cargo slave ships. Stephen, who did that happen to? It happened to us, right? Now, what do they call us in America? They call us all that. But God said we Israelites and you, my brother, are from the tribe of Judah. That's where you come from. Based off what God left us here, this is our genealogy. This is our uh, Ancestry.com. It's been right here all this time. We've been looking all over. White man, show me this. White man, show me that. We ain't got to go nowhere. It's been right here in this Bible that we have in our houses. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. We went into slavery on cargo slave ships. Let's go. By the way world I spake unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. We want to see our homeland of what? Jerusalem. Israel is our homeland. That's where we from. But they teach us, you niggas, we're just in Africa swinging from trees. They teach us to be inferior in mindset. And they've done that so long to where we subconsciously believe it. To where we think we can't be nothing great. But I'm telling you today, you are Israelite. You the greatest people to ever walk this earth. That's who you are. That's who you be. We a nation of kings and priests. And we got to walk like that. But in order for us to have that mindset, we got to be renewed by this Bible. We got to let our minds be well washed by the word of God. We got to convert our mindsets back to that of a God. And not a Negro. Not a nigga in America. See what I'm saying? Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold. So and there, once you got off that ship, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now how descriptive can that get? That fits us exactly. They make all these movies. Every time uh, Black History Month roll around, they play the movies, 12 Years a Slave, Django, uh, When I Was a Slave, all these other things. And then it tells you that, yes, this is where we came from. This is who we were. You see what I'm saying? And the Lord said we will be sold to our enemies, bro. That did not happen to anybody but us. Where that sign at? That say, uh, for sale, Negroes. Let me grab it for you. Right here. You see this at the bottom? Yeah, look at that. To be sold, a cargo of 94 Negroes. Read it up. To read that part again? And there ye shall be sold. You shall be sold. This is an actual document they put out in the newspaper. 
circulating around state, amongst their people saying, hey, we got Negroes for sale. Come get you some. Work that, they can work that plantation. They can get you your cotton. They can get you your sugar cane, your tobacco, all of which we gonna use and trade around America the same way they make you, you a truck driver, right? Yeah, but they, I, know, bro. I understand, I understand. <laughs> they have you drive things all around America, right? Guess what? That We was that free labor that they used to ship things all around America. And America got rich off our backs. And now they take that same money and send it to Ukraine and Israel and all these other places to defend them. But for us, they won't do a damn thing, Steve. That's what I'm trying to show you is that what? We are the Israelites. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We gotta wake up, bro. We gotta wake up. I know you gotta go. Yeah, man, I know you gotta go. Yeah, I'm talking to the gift and I already got it. I understand. Hold on, hold on. You said get a gift for what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you get a gift for your wife. So today is what day? It's Mother's Day, right? Where do you think we learned Mother's Day at? If we was just talking about all that, where do you think we learned Mother's Day from? Let me help. I'm gonna give you a hint. Give you a hint. That brother right there, at one time he said, to hell with Mother Day, to hell with Christmas, to hell with my birthday, to hell with everything. They said, no, nah, nigga, you know what? We're going to beat it into you that you got to keep Mother's Day. Remember what I statement I made earlier? I said, we got to convert our minds. We got to wash our minds with the word of God. That's showing that right now, your mind is not washed. Your mind is still in the way of America. To the point where you're about to go and buy a gift against your God, the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Yo God said, they ain't nothing about no Mother's Day. Ain't no time to worship no women. You do my law, statutes, and commandments. I'm the Lord, your God. The Lord is a man of war, you see what I'm saying? And he gave us holy days to keep that do what? Celebrate our deliverance. Celebrate our independence from our enemies. When you keep Mother's Day, you say, all right, America, I'll bow down still. When you keep Christmas, all right, America, I'll bow down still. All these things is showing that what? We haven't been, we mentally enslaved to them to this day. I said earlier, it's subconscious. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 